Hello, people from the future. This is from the past, because I made it a little while ago. It's time for Fix from the Rack. So forgive the lack of presentation this week, but I'm kind of doing double duty on some tour reviews and everything. So it's pretty much just turning the camera around and talking to you guys about some comic books. So first up this week is Wolverines, which is losing me. Yes, we have the new character, Phantom L, who was introduced in that story that just seemed to come out of nowhere. And yeah, I'm wondering where this is going. Um, how many issues is this gonna be? Did I really dedicate to follow this every week? Damn. And next up this week, we have Uncanny Avengers number one. Now, I was hesitant to pick this up because uh, it seems like just another book of a team of mutants and Avengers, so I don't know. But it was actually okay, I guess. I like seeing Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch back, searching for answers of why Magneto isn't their father. And uh, Sabretooth is a reformed character. He's showing remorse due to the inversion. And I, I, I don't know what to take away from this number one, honestly. They, they've got a mission, they're going after it. We've got Brother Voodoo. I'm just not feeling this particular book. Eh. Now, Spider-Man 2099 number eight was actually a good read. Of course, this has more of Miguel O'Hara interacting with Miss Lady Spider. And we actually get to go to her dimension and see some very, very cool steampunk looking characters of the Sinister Six. I really enjoyed this book. And there's just all kinds of greatness in here. Especially them going and salvaging the spider robot from Japanese Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, I, I've always liked Spider-Man 2099, so I really can't say enough about this book. But we do gotta get back to the Spider-Verse, so yeah, this was the book to pick up this week. And honestly, come on, giant robots. Now, I'll be honest this week, I picked up Deadpool number four to one because of the cover. It's Mad Max, look at that. <laughs> but anyway, this has Deadpool questioning his inversion, and you know, was that a better part of him? Could he be that person? And there's a lot of conflict in this. Um, it has him trying to go off and do just some normal Deadpool things. The guy's not feeling himself. I'm gonna go off and do some mercenary stuff. But he actually finds himself a little bit more in this book. Uh, it's a good read and a good thing for this character to have this little change every now and then to show that he's not just, you know, a quick wit and some guns and swords. This is actually a conflicted character at times. I really liked it this week. And last this week, Thor number four. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the new Thor. She's really starting to grow on me. But this has her in direct conflict with the old Thor, which is something we saw from the last book. And uh, let's face it, the Odin son wants his hammer back. But I think Milnor has chosen a new wielder and it's really good. It gives some closure to that storyline as well. This is our first story arc ended. Um, so far, I really like the new Thor. And we still don't know who she is. The speculation about, you know, is his mom or... And we don't know. We know nothing. Although we do know, this Thor knows the old Thor. So, you know, I guess give it, what, 10 issues until we find out who it is? Anyway, guys, that's it for me for Picks from the Rack this week. Make sure you check it out next week. Check out the show that's going on right now if you're watching this or Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Central. And check out Cinelinks.com. Until next time, guys, catch you later.